Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. The other day I got some really beautiful beads from BB Craft and I made a necklace. It was a beach necklace I called it. In the video I talked about how I was going to try to wear it to the beach and the pool and just wear it a lot this summer. Normally jewelry you do not want to wear to the beach. You do not even want to wear it in the shower, the swimming pool, because it can um, it can do bad things <laughs> to your nice jewelry, even your 14 karat gold. That being said though, I've been doing a little research on stainless steel. Supposedly, you can wear stainless steel in the ocean. You can wear it swimming in the pool, you can wear it showering, and it should not mess with the metal. And I wanted to experiment on that. I'm going to show you the necklace that I made, but I changed it up a little bit because uh, I used uh, this coconut colored wire to wire some beads that reminded me a lot of sea glass. And then I used silver tone stainless steel chain. And I like to mix my metals, but for some reason this didn't work for me. I think one of the problems was the chain was really thin. Um, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video so you can go check it out. But I want to show you what I did and then I'm going to show you some other things I've made with the sea glass looking beads. They're almost like cultured sea glass in my opinion. And, uh, and then we're going to make a necklace. So this is the necklace that I am talking about. Um, made it the other day. I just took, like I said, this coconut colored wire and wired all these into links. And I originally had, let's see, this chain, but look how small it is. It just seemed very wimpy. And so I went and dug out some um, antique brass chain that was a little bit thicker and I think it works so much better and then the shell I just wire wrapped that I got this beach combing um, in Cocoa Beach and I love the way this turned out and here are the earrings and this is a nice ensemble I really really like this a lot now here's another piece that I made with the um, sea glass looking beads and I just added a little mermaid charm which um, all these elements that I use to make this um, necklace actually came from BB Craft. We have this little charm holder thing, the uh, mermaid, the wire, and even the chain. Uh, you can get all these at BB Craft. Um, but I really like the simplicity of this piece. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So today I'm going to use blue, the white, and the green along with this coconut colored um, wire. I could use the silver wire. Let me see. Let me get that silver wire. Because I am going to hang it. I think I'm going to use the silver. I'm going to change my mind on that. Because I'm going to hang this on uh, a silver necklace. So let me find the end of this. Now you, uh, the pliers you need for this are round nose pliers, flat nose, and wire cutters. And I'm going to start out by, let's see, I want the blue bead to be at the top. And then we'll put the white bead in the middle and the green at the bottom. Let me think. Wait, we'll do it this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it this way because I'll show you here in a minute why. Well, there we go. This is going to be where the bale is. And I'm just going to take this 
wire and draw it up on the back of the bead. By the way, these beads, there are two sides. We have one side that has a little bit of a um, curve up, whereas the other side is flat. And that's where I'm going to bring my wire around. Um, so that's about how much we need. I'm going to take these off for now. And I'm going to wrap a couple of times around here. Then the white bead. Wrap a couple of times. Then the blue bead. I love these colors, especially this blue bead. It's beautiful. Reminds me of the Caribbean waters. I'm going to bring this up and wrap around, and then I'm going to clip off. And, you know, you could, if you wanted to, wrap around and then just use one of these as a bale, but I want this to be a thicker bale. So I'm going to take this and just wrap and twist here until I get to the end. And as far as these go, I'm just going to take my pliers and kind of do a little twist to tighten them. And you don't have to do that. I just, I kind of like the, the twist them. They remind me of a wave. And when this is done, you could wear it on that side or this side either way. All right, so then we're going to make a bale. these ends in. And you know, if you already have an existing chain, you could just hang it on there. Or you could get your get you some chain and make your own necklace to hang on there. Oh, that's still poking out. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to just take my sterling silver chain that I have. Like I said, you could either wear it one way or the other. And here's what it looks like, all finished. Let me turn it around on the other side. You can see what that side looks like. These are really simple to make. And they are very, um, an, I wouldn't consider this a statement necklace. It is understated. It's more minimalistic. But it, it still does kind of make a little bit of a statement, if that even made any sense at all. I like the way this turned out. But I am going to make a um, stainless steel chain to go with it. If you're interested in making yourself a necklace like this or these any of these beads that I'm showing, I will leave information all about them down in the description box below along with a coupon code. Thanks for joining me and I hope you all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.